Um, I usually think that the DC guys come swooping in, you know, with their Quantico expertise and all the rest, but they don't usually wear 10 gallon hats and checkered, uh, you know, um, flannel shirts and uh, cowboy belts. <laughs> they, these guys look like they were sort of more from around there. So I'm wondering if you think, if you take a look at your screen, field office maybe, agents from the lo one of the local field offices, maybe one of the new, the new four with a, a fifth guy as their lead? You know, it's, uh, well, thanks for having me tonight, Ashley. And, uh, you know, that is interesting, but uh, with so many agencies involved, hard to say where these guys are from. Uh, you know, FBI agents can look like anybody. Uh, when they go out in the field, they can dress, I'm going to dress like the local, uh, like the local flavor and uh, kind of mix in. So generally, they're not going to be out in the field with the suits anymore on these kind of cases. No, but these guys look like the, those clothes wear them. That they look like the real, the real McCoy. They look like they're from those parts. Um, and I know because I lived in Calgary and I lived in Texas, and that's how we dressed. <laughs> <laughs> so let me uh, let me ask you a little bit about the thing that I just laid out. That, that was one of those rabbit holes that we've gone down a whole bunch of them. And I know that a lot of the viewers right now, uh, hi guys, I, I love you to pieces. You give us lots of great tips. It takes a lot. It takes a lot to get to the bottom of one of those rabbit holes and finally, you know, cross it off the list. And we heard there's over 6,500 tips on this. So just give me the insider's perspective on your gear is usually way better than my gear and your gear is way better than the web sleuthing gear, but how good and how fast can you rule stuff out like that that, you know, might take us days? Well, you know, the difficulty in any of these kind of investigations is, is the crush of information leads uh, citizen uh, input, uh, evidence that's coming in is just difficult for the investigators to to get through all that stuff. So what happens in these these matters, especially in this phase where they're they're uh, you know working through piles and piles of evidence and piles and piles of leads, is the difficult part is organizing that, categorizing it, and that is something that the average investigator, especially in a small town, is going to have a a pretty hard time to do by themselves. So that's why in these instances, you have this multi-jurisdictional response where different agencies bring in their specialists and bring in their resources to help those local investigators so they don't get bogged down in the details and all that minutia and can focus on actionable leads. So the, the business about the FBI tip line today, it was announced that it's now redirected, like any calls to the Moscow PD, that tip line's all going to the FBI. You know, and that's great because I know that they've got way bigger assets. And like you said, just the categorization, the ability to organize um, and sort properly and get those tips to the right places is, is just exquisite with the FBI. But it also made me wonder if this is kind of the migration. Is this the natural migration of a case from a small town police force that has come upon almost four weeks with no solid leads or suspects or weapons or anything. Um, it starts with the tip line and then eventually the FBI are really the lead agency on the case. You know, in these type, type of homicides, in these investigations, the FBI stays in a support role. And the reason for that is that that local agency is the tip of the spear for this investigation. And what the FBI really brings is the resources to help those investigators and to help them do their job better by taking care of some of the things like the call center to take all those phone calls coming in and categorize them and catalog them and distribute them out because if you think about it if you're getting a thousand calls a day and you're an agency of 30 sworn officers you know it's almost impossible to handle those calls and uh so this is what the fbi offers and it's a routine thing but i wouldn't say that this would in any way be a, a sign the fbi has taken over but as the case goes on, you'll see more resources brought to the uh, table, especially as they begin to analyze these mountains of evidence. And all this comes together. And, uh, you know, that's where the FBI shines is being able to help the local agency with that. But, yeah, they won't uh, be taking this over. I don't believe that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.